Oh, hello everyone! Welcome back to Cruelty Free A to Z, a judgment-free zone where we learn all about what it means to be cruelty-free. So, D is for do do say do che do 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 che do say do say cosmetics. That's what we're going with. <laughs> do say cosmetics. Elf, Ico, and Essence. Okay, mashup doing two letters in one video crazy and before we get into it I want to give an honorable mention to also two other brands one is Derma E and it has one of my favorite skincare products their vitamin C serum we have that that is one of my all-time favorite skincare products you can get it at Target it's awesome maybe at the drugstore too and duo lash glue a fan fave not only from the drugstore but just in general for lashes it is one of the best lash glue unfortunately I seem to have misplaced mine so I can't show it to you now but I'll put a picture don't you worry and if you don't already know what duo glue is well I guess now you will I am now armored up. You know what this means. It is time to get started. So as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done. So I don't have anything else on my face yet because I want to start with eyes because I'm going to be starting with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size Mini Eyeshadow Palettes, another fan fave. It's not that new on the scene. I'm not like, I'm kind of late to the party trying these, but they've quickly become a cult fave because they're only three dollars and you get amazing quality eyeshadows I think for me in the ones specifically that I have the mattes leave like a little bit to be desired but the shimmer is incredible and you know what for three dollars I will take it it's still fabulous so I have two of the bite size eyeshadow palettes in truffles and in carnival candy gorge so elf is not only cruelty free but it is also fully 100% vegan, so they have, they're known for their brushes as well as their makeup products and their brushes are all synthetic. They are owned by a private equity company, TPG Elf Holdings, I believe it is called. So, so their, you know, company that they are owned by is also cruelty free by default because they're not a beauty brand. They are not sold in mainland China. However, they do manufacture some products in mainland China, but they do not sell them in stores there. So that is how they can still be cruelty free. The only way you can get e.l.f. products in China is via e-commerce online. So before I just go right in with my little bite-sized mini palettes, I am actually going to be starting with the Putty Primer for eyes. Now, their Putty Primer is kind of a cult fave, but their face primer, their eye primer, I have to say, is not as great. I did get it in white. It is quite dry and stiff feeling when you put your your finger in the pot you really have to get in there warm it up a little bit in your fingers and it's still kind of stiff on the eyes and a little bit chunky as well oh goodness see yeah I have this product and it's it's kind of not chalky but it's definitely I don't know if you can tell I'm like pulling it is definitely stiffer than their face putty primers so oh boy I have gone in for it and this is why I decided to do my eyes first today also I look at the the bite size palettes and I'm like do I want to just go full grunge do I want to just do it I do I do I'm gonna go I'm gonna go pretty grungy we're gonna go dark and smoky and looking like I just ended my night rather than started it. It wouldn't be one of my videos if everything didn't fall. Oh God. Oh look, I have some <laughs> primer in my eyebrow. Oh man, oh man. Okay, let's just start doing eyeshadow. Thank you. 
smoky. So obviously you could definitely do more of an everyday look with these palettes as well, but I just decided like, why not? So I have been having honestly so much fun making these videos so far on discovering cruelty-free makeup and sharing it. And if you're new here or if you've been here before and you've also been enjoying your time here, I would love if you would like and subscribe. I just feel like that would be a lot of fun for all of us and we can all be cruelty-free cuties together. So yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my eyes after I do my face, but now I'm gonna move on to starting my face. And of course, we're gonna start with one of the top e.l.f. cult faves, which is the Poreless Putty Primer. And unlike the eye primer, which is chunky and flaky and not smooth, this is butter. This goes on your face and you're like, wow, I could slather this all over. Oh, this is so smooth and creamy and it really does fill your pores. I just tend to put it on my T-zone, and even though it is more of a pore-filling kind of a primer, I don't feel like it dries out my skin too much. I do have pretty dry skin, especially now this time of year. It holds your makeup really great, so I absolutely recommend this primer. And as much as I would love to be using the new e.l.f. Camo CC cream, I unfortunately do not have it because I had to put myself on a little bit of a spending lock because I've just been buying lots of things even though I said I wouldn't. Classic me. But unfortunately I do not have that. So I'm just going to finish my face off camera with everything else that I have that's not part of this letter. Once again, it's me, the dirty liar, because I actually have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I did get this in a shade that's a little bit too dark for me, so I tend to like to use this to spot conceal rather than for my under eyes. I feel like perhaps I could use this when I'm a little bit tanner in the summer. I also got this because I heard via TikTok that it was a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, but I think that might be the 16 hour camo concealer, not this hydrating one because I don't like this formula as much as Tarte Shape Tape. It's gonna be really hard to beat that for me, but I am gonna put this on. I will put it under my eyes and mix it with the Tarte Shape Tape. Yeah, you can see that that's not the color. It's a little dark, it's a little orange. This one definitely creases. It slides a little bit. It's not as full coverage as I would like it to be. So we'll see. So I'm gonna add some of my trusty, handy dandy Tarte Shape Tape and blend this out. Much better. Ooh, what foundation am I using, you ask? That my skin is looking absolutely poreless, seamless, and flawless? You're just gonna have to watch my video on F to find out. Ooh, shameless self-promo. Or look in the description box below because I will list it there too. Or do both. Ooh, I like that option, do both. So I have this wonderful little e.l.f. Kabuki brush that I am just gonna use to powder the rest of my face. Fabulous, love it. I think we all know that e.l.f. just makes a fabulous brush too. I also have this brush, the complexion brush from e.l.f., which I think can also be used to powder your face. It is a little thinner and tapered, so it would be really great. I'm gonna use it for my bronzer right now, actually. Let's just do that. If you want like a, an easy kind of contour where you're not like contouring, but like you kind of are, but you still get a little bit more of a bronzy look, this is a great brush for it. I think this could also be really good to be used under the eyes. Well, now that that's done, I say let's finish up the eyes. <laughs> and a mascara from both Ico and Essence. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. So Ico is not certified by any of the organizations. However, it has been vetted by many of the websites and sources that I use. They have made sure in all accounts that it is cruelty free. Ico is not sold in mainland China and it is not owned by a parent company that tests on animals. It's owned by a non-beauty company called The Hut Group. So 
by default that is cruelty free. And from Ico, I have their Black Magic Mascara. It's a tubing mascara. And I have their Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner. And I actually like this eyeliner better than Cult Fave Stila's Stay All Day Liner. This is everything to me. Introduced to me by, say it with me, my cousin the makeup artist. And I have been hooked ever since. So this is my go-to holy grail felt tip pen liquid liner. I am not a huge fan of tubing mascaras. I think the Ico Black Magic tubing mascara is good for a tubing mascara, but I don't fully know how I feel about tubing mascaras in general. So instead, I will be using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And I also have from Essence their Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade 02 Hot Chocolate. I think this is a really great eye pencil. It's retractable. I like retractable better than wooden because I feel like wooden is really dry, so this is very nice and creamy. And Essence also has no certifications, but again, it has been vetted by all of the sources that I use, so I fully trust that it is cruelty-free. It's not sold in mainland China, and it is also owned by a non-beauty brand, so its parent company or owner or company again, by default, does not test on animals. So I actually have had a few people ask me why I include that brands are not sold in mainland China. And to that, I would recommend that you check out my second video on certifications, logos, and more, where I discuss why China is so relevant to the cruelty-free industry. So I'll put that in the cards. So I'm gonna use the Essence Liner to line my waterline. Are we taking our lives into our hands every time we line our waterline because we could potentially stab ourselves in the eye, permanently injuring ourselves? Yeah. Worth it. And I'll be using the love of my life, the Black Magic Liner, to wing it out. I don't know if I'm able to do that on camera, so I'm gonna film it, and if it doesn't work, I just wanna include it. I guess I'm not one to go super bold with my wings. I think I've learned that about myself. Cause I think if I, this look could definitely warrant a little bit bolder of a wing, but I'm gonna keep it. We all know what happens when you try and do a little bit more and then you just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And it'll end up being a hot mess, so I might as well quit while I'm ahead. Oh yeah, it's mascara time. Lashes are curled and I'm gonna make them look false. Two coats, no coat. Two coats, no coat. Is she wearing falsies? That's a secret I'll never tell. XO, XO, gossip girl. Boom, lashed. And if you notice, maybe my lips look a little rosier and that's because I am wearing the e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Happy? 84563, this one. Fabulous, fabulous tinted lip balm. I love it. I don't know what it was. These fairly recently came out and I don't know what it was that made me be like, I must have that. And I did, I think they're only six bucks. Lips are lined because from Deuce, Deuce, that's what I'm gonna call it, Deuce Cosmetics, I have their lip gloss, which is called Lush Lip Gloss, that I got in a beauty con box, which unfortunately I don't think now even exists anymore. It's a really good subscription box, so RIP. So I line my lips in preparation to put on, whoa, you know I love a good lip gloss pop. This lip gloss, let me just. That is pigmented. That is a pigmented gloss. I have used this quite a few times before, so I know that I, I really enjoy this lip gloss. Oh yeah. I love that it's not too goopy, gloopy. I mean, you can add it up more, I'm sure. I only did like one light layer, but that's what I like. Just a natural little, a nice little sheen, a nice shine. Beautiful. Is she wearing something? Maybe. Is that natural? Also, maybe. So, I should tell you that Douce Cosmetics, Douce, Douce, 
is inspired by the French word, do say, I hope, for soft and elegant. Definitely what I feel like this lip gloss is for sure. They are PETA certified. I believe they are independently owned. I couldn't find any info saying otherwise, so obviously not owned by a company that's non-cruelty free themselves. And of course, they are not sold in mainland China. They also have a lot of partnerships with initiatives such as Wands for Wildlife, the Susan G. Komen of Greater NYC, and Dress for Success. So Wands for Wildlife is an initiative where they donate all these used mascara wands and they use it to clean fleas and larvae off of wildlife in Western North Carolina. So they are definitely a very socially conscious brand. So good on you, Duce. Deuce. Mm. Will I ever learn to pronounce it? I should look up what the word is in French and learn how to pronounce it in French and I'm sure that's how it is. All right, everyone, we got ourselves a finished look. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, comment down below anything you would want to see, what you liked about this. You can contact me via email and of course, Instagram as well. And I will see you next time.